Hello, I'm Justin Crouch. And I'm Chelsea Gerard, and you're watching MediaPlex Live at One. Minimum wage is increasing to $15 an hour over the next 18 months. Kathleen Wynne, Premier of Ontario, said that the very nature of work is being transformed and, in turn, workers need to be treated fairly. In Ontario, 11.6% of people work in a minimum wage job, making Ontario the province with the most minimum wage workers in Canada. Some of these workers are experiencing shift cuts and employers are unwilling to pay the increase. Tim Hortons has been a topic of controversy recently, removing paid breaks from their employees as a result of the wage difference. Protesters have shown their support, though the company response has been minimal. Fog Lounge celebrated their 14th anniversary. Juliana Bonnet has the story. The Fog Lounge recently just celebrated their 14 year anniversary this past Tuesday, January 2nd. This venue is a cultural hub located in downtown Windsor. Opened in 2004, this bar is aimed at supporting and connecting artists, musicians, writers, filmmakers, students, and even small business owners. Tony Coates, host of Open Mic Night, said, I like the place because of the vibes, the people, and how accepting it is. The grunginess. In addition, it was the number one loved music venue in Canada, which is really, really cool to me. Locals all got together for the event that featured a wonderful amount of fun, discounted drinks, and local music, and most certainly, goodies to snack on. Conco Bar, or known as Connor, said he has been performing at the Fog Lounge for a very long time. I keep coming back and, uh, and I love this location because it really is just a pillar of the music community. I mean, people say it all the time, uh, the art community, they get uh, a place to host their shows and debut um, their art. And then the music community, every almost every day of the week, is there's some sort of show or performance going on where uh, people are showcasing their art. So, I mean, there's always something to see or do and enjoy here, as well as if you are an artist, you can uh, take advantage of that, and, and it's, a, it's a platform for you. Not only was there discounted drinks, but the Fog Lounge was selling local artists' work for $100 or more. Philip Bodewin said he thinks the Fog Lounge adds cultural diversity to Windsor, Ontario. I've been uh, coming to the Fog Lounge for about 14 years now and uh, essentially it's this wonderful melting pot of uh, local culture and artistry that turns into a necessary fundamental dream of the local community and uh, if it weren't for Fog Lounge there's definitely a, a necessary aspect of human existence that would be lacking from this city and indeed because the fog exists this is a much better place you know and much stronger for it. Here celebrating a happy 14 years of Fog Lounge and many more to come. Thanks for listening. I'm Juliana Bonnet. The Brain Injury Association is one of many communities you could get involved with in Windsor. Shubhagana Vishwanathan reports. The Brain Injuries Association is dedicated to education. Staff and volunteers want to prevent brain injuries and help people heal. Anna Jurak is the executive director. We have education programs throughout the year. Um, one's a concussion workshop for uh, coaches, parents, teachers about recognizing concussion, um, what to do when a child has a concussion and how to get them back to school. She says they do education programs four times a year. They don't get any government funding. Meanwhile, over at the Windsor Rotary Club, there are supporting international issues. Rotary began here in Windsor 100 years ago, and among other causes, it's helping to eradicate polio around the world. The cusp of, of uh, actually completely eradicating polio from the planet. There are three countries that are endemic, Pakistan, Afghanistan, and Nigeria, but there hasn't been a new case of polio in Nigeria since August 2016, so maybe it's finished in Nigeria. Windsorites already support the cause, but the Rotary Club has a new goal for this year. It's trying to raise $1.5 million to fight polio by the end of this year. They say there are lots of ways to donate. Uh, interact with uh, one of your Rotary Clubs, find out where they are in Windsor, Essex County. Uh, there's a Rotary, Rotary Act Club at the university, so you can join that club and participate in uh, polio awareness activities and in polio fundraising activities. If you want to be part of any of these communities, you can check out their websites. For Mediaplex News, I'm Shubhang Navishvanathan. Now let's take a look at your local weather forecast. Wednesday we can expect it to be cloudy with showers and a high of 6. Thursday will be cloudy with showers and a high of 11. And Friday will be mixed precipitation with a high of 1. I'm Chelsea Gerard. And I'm Justin Crouch. And you've been watching Mediaplex Live at 1.